Everybody and welcome back to the vlog. It is Tuesday. It is a yeah, cloudy day. I was gonna say beautiful, but I definitely would have been lying. And I just decided to, for probably the first time in a month, put on some makeup because you know what? Every once in a while, you just want to put on some makeup. I definitely made a mess all over my um, mouse pad here, but that is totally fine. It is currently quarter after eleven. <laughs> um, so much for getting up early, right? I mean, in all fairness, I said I was thinking about getting up early, but also I ended up not going to sleep until kind of a little bit late. It was like 2 a.m. I blame <laughs> New Amsterdam because like I've really been enjoying it that it hasn't had any of those like, ooh, the lighting, uh, like a plane crash with a bunch of doctors on it or things like that. And then there was an ambulance crash <laughs> with a bunch of doctors on it and um and I was like oh great there haven't been any like active shooter situations <laughs> and so I'm kind of like there isn't going to be a bomb in someone is there <laughs> I'm referencing Grey's Anatomy obviously if you don't know is it raining it might be raining anyways uh lots of stuff on the docket for today step one maybe being getting all the powder off this. Oh, regret. <laughs> Followed quickly by step two, which is editing the vlog. If you're wondering why my desk setup is so strange right now, it's because I know I'm going to be doing some more cutting today because I cut like um, 29. Okay, we've tripoded up. I've, I cut like 29 masks yesterday, but I now need to cut the liners to go with it. And I also want to sew at least the seven pow boom whack ones or whatever. Uh, so that is on the list. I want to do laundry, I think. I should probably shower, but now that I've done makeup, that's going to be a later thing. And um, I want to go to the store because I think I mentioned in Wednesday's vlog that I want to start making bags. I found my pattern yesterday, which is a questionable pattern. I'm thinking it might need to be redone because it is in bad shape because I've had it for 16, 17 years. <laughs> a lot of years. 14. No. Seven. I don't know. I've had it for a lot of years is what I'm saying and it's totally 17 years. Um, and so it's it's a little rough so I'm thinking I might want to redo that but today I want to go to the store to get some fabric to do that and also I need to remember that I have a Fabricline gift card. Last time I went to Fabricline, I spent so much money and I forgot that I had this, idiot. Um, yeah, so I think that's really it for today is that, because it has to go up tomorrow, masks and going out. Yeah, it's not a lot if you put it that way. Oh, I also need to send my invoice for invoicing so I can get paid for my invoicing. I'm normally like really good at doing it right away, but I, I wasn't here on the last day of the month, I was puppy sitting and I brought all my stuff so that I could do it and then I just totally didn't. But it's only the second. It's not like it's super late in the month. I just have a mess everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna clean up, probably start editing. Um, but I know my mom's up and about, so I'm gonna check with her first to see when she wants to go out. Cause I gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go to the store too, on top of the fabric store. Yeah, all right, that's where we're at. <laughs> Alrighty, so home after running some errands now and some very exciting things. So I knew I had a $50 Fabricland gift card, which was very exciting. But in that envelope, I forgot that I'd also got a $50 Visa prepaid credit card thing, gift card for Christmas. So I had like $100 to spend on fabric. So I got these two bags. <laughs> and I spent 95 cents. 
yeah so exciting i like i didn't even try to hit the hundred as close as i could it just worked out really well i shopped a couple sales for sure and um got random things so we'll go with this bag first because this is precisely one thing in here and that one thing is three meters of this arctic fleece so the bags that i talked about that i'm gonna start making they use this as like um an inner layer just to kind of, I guess, give the bag more structure. I don't know. I haven't made them for a while, but I got three meters because then I don't really have to worry about it for a while. I got some boring green remnant fabric because I figured this would be good for embroidery purposes. I got this really fun knit print that I thought might work really well for scrunchie. So we're going to give it a try because I'm testing out different sizes and shapes of scrunchies. So figure that would be fun. I started, I think I mentioned earlier, I started a new embroidery product project that is mostly black. So I got a bunch of black embroidery floss. Although if we're being honest, I think I've got a bunch of black in here already <laughs> that I need to um, wind. But you know, black is a very useful color to have in uh, crafting. So I'll just cram that in there with the rest of them and hope it closes. And then the rest of the stuff that I got is just boring uh, solids, which is the main reason that I went, because I wanted to get solids to go inside the bag. So I got this dark green, very similar to this dark green, almost the same color, but definitely different materials. I got this like royally dark blue, um, which will work for things for sure. And then I actually, the lady was like, oh, we have these like more colors on that side of different um, cotton. And I was like, ooh, so I went over there and I got other blues, which I'll get to. I got black, can't go wrong with the black. I got red to go inside the like stained glass Harry Potter fabric that I was mentioned, that I mentioned in the last vlog. <laughs> I got this like light gray blue and then I got this navy. So anyways, I got a lot of solids, which is very exciting because that is where I'm lacking very much because I just get really excited by the patterns. So I really want to start working on bags, but I think step one today well, I need to finish exporting the vlog. It mostly exported while we were out, but then my computer decided it didn't want to be on anymore. So let that finish, do a thumbnail, and then I think cut the linings, these guys, <laughs> for the other masks. I might not cut all like 28 that I need, but I'll, I'll cut at least the stuff that I need for the Boom Pow ones. Anyways, that's where we're at. I'm gonna clean up this mess that I just made here <laughs> and then go be more productive. I got a confession. just about eight and I've been pretty productive. I have all these liners to show for my work. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the seven that I need to make and hopefully I can get them finished tonight. We'll see because it's eight o'clock and there'll be a couple more hours and then I'll do the rest at a future date. But I made a new scrunchie. It's super cute. Um, I like it. It's could be probably a little bit bulkier, but generally it's pretty good. Um, I sewed them at least to get, and I cut them and all that stuff. And I <laughs> sewed the pink ones into tubes. Uh, so there's that. <laughs> I was definitely doing things I didn't need to do, but it was fun. I still actually need to finish this one because wherever the seam is that I got the elastic in, I, I haven't sewed it shut, but I don't really care at the moment, it's fine. <laughs> uh, things that I need to do today though, besides hopefully finish these masks, I wanna shower <laughs> and I wanna do my invoice up. But if I don't do my invoice up today, I can do it up tomorrow. But still, I probably should. Anyways, that's where we're at. I just wanted to update because I haven't actually picked up the camera to talk to it in a while. Um, and I didn't really feel like just continuing on with the time lapse and all that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it out, but I like there was an, 
unnecessarily long amount of time where I was trying to figure out what the word was. Anyways, I got the nose bridge pieces here. We're gonna do that. I think I already have two that have them attached, so I only have to do four of these and one of the bigger ones, but I'm into book three, Return of the King, so I'm gonna grab my headphones, which should be fully charged at this point, and um, keep listening. All right, so it's just after midnight, and um, I didn't accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish today. I did, however, finish the mask, so I've got the six large and then the one extra large, and I embroidered for a bit. I'm working on a big project. I'm too lazy to pull it out, <laughs> and I <laughs> cleaned up my room because it was a disaster. My lips are still really chapped, which sucks. And then obviously I jumped in the shower because I look clean now. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's not obvious, but it's nice. Um, yeah, I've just been embroidering and watching New Amsterdam. I watched two episodes, um, and I think I need to go to sleep now because I have to wake up early-ish for work, so I should probably go, but first I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with this scrunchie. It's, it's big, but it's not like too big. I think, I don't know. I'm a fan and I really like this pattern and this material. So yeah, I still need to close it up, but I'm kind of trying to decide if I, if I want to do a blind closure on it. I can't even find. There it is. Like, I don't know if I want to do like a seam across it or just like try to figure out how to sew it from the inside. I don't know. Also, <laughs> my monopod thing over here is just becoming a home for scrunchies. I think it's got like four on there now. So yeah, probably shouldn't keep doing that. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow is another day. I have work and then I think I have either a walk or just a coffee date with my friend, um, depending on weather and other such variables. <laughs> so I'm gonna go now and I will see you probably at the theater in the morning. <laughs> Good night. Good morning and welcome back to the theater. And let me tell you, I have the most exciting news. It's exciting for me. I was just walking through the lobby and I saw this and I was like, that's really weird because like that's how we hang portraits and art and stuff on the wall. And then I was like, wait a minute, does that mean that some art is gone? And it is. The red art, the one that's been messing with my lighting forever is gone. I mean, there's a very good chance that it might be back because that's kind of been the MO. Like this one over here disappeared and it hasn't come back, but there's another one that's gone away to display elsewhere and then come back. So anyways, I'm really excited just because it was the red one, which just the lighting it cast was just so bad. Anyways, <laughs> great way to start the day. It is a very cold day out there. It's not like cold in itself. It's just very windy and I was not expecting it when I got out of the car. I was like, bah! So that's fun. I don't know if a walk will happen later, but I think like a coffee will happen later. I had a weird dream about my friend trying to buy a couch or, or going to buy a couch, not trying to. <laughs> and he was like, the guy's like, oh, can I drop the um, invoice or whatever for you? And he was like, yeah, I just need to send it all to my sobriety companion first. And I was like, what? And I don't know if it was just because the guy was like giving him bad service or what. So I need to ask my dream friend that, but I'm definitely going to tell my real life friend. <laughs> Sounds like I, they're the same person. Anyways, plans for the day work. I brought a book here that Bubs dropped off with me to go out to Blind Channel. So I have that here. I finished the masks. I have them here. There's just a whole lot going on today. So hopefully I can stay awake and be jazzed about things. And then when I get home, work on more things. I'm not sure what I want to work on today because I did put my sewing machine and everything away last night because it was just, it was such a mess, but we'll see. Anyways, I've been rambling for no reason. I'm gonna go have my breakfast drink and then I'm gonna get this show on the road. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is currently quarter after three. I got off work at like noon. Uh, my friend picked me up. We went and got some Starbucks. Then we went and watched the ocean for a while because it was way too windy and too cold to go for a walk. And then we ended up running into um, our two bosses from Blind Channel. <laughs> well, okay, so I ran into my boss earlier at the theater to give him the book. It was actually funny, I was upstairs and I happened to be looking out the window and I saw the blind channel truck go by. I'm like, oh, and so I went downstairs and I saw him park in like the complex nearby and I was like, is he coming over? Is he coming over? And I was like, oh, I guess he's not coming over. <laughs> and then I go back upstairs and my phone rings. I'm like, okay, there he is. Anyway, so I talked to him earlier and then 
when we were leaving where we had been walking the uh watching the ocean they were driving past to go to the float plane dock building i don't i don't know headquarters <laughs> offices <laughs> And so we turned around to go talk to them because my friend with his health things is, you know, trying to keep his employer up to date kind of thing. So we chatted for a bit, but it was so cold outside. And then we went driving around. We got some onion rings. <laughs> and um, I've probably been home for like an hour-ish now. And I've just been puttering, um, watching a couple YouTube videos. I fold it all my clothes and I made my bed and I like tidied up. I need to put these clothes away in there. I put everything away in here. Um, and I'm currently rendering the vlog footage from yesterday, trying to stay on top of that. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I brought the masks to work today. Like I mentioned, um, I do have to modify the extra large a little bit, which I thought might be the case because the extra large is just like, I don't know, it's just a weird fit. Everybody else, the masks fit well, that tried them on at least. My boss was like, wow, this fits great. Can you make me one in black? And I was like, okay, sure. And then he texted me later. He's like, uh, we miscount it. Can you make another one of these superhero ones? So gotta get on that at some point. I probably won't do it tonight. Probably do it this weekend or something. But yeah, so more masks to make. <laughs> I think I might have cut an extra liner than what I needed. So I might just need to cut the actual outside, which is exciting. But I think what I'm gonna do, oh, let's go like 45 minutes to render. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I might edit my vlog before anything else, but I think maybe I'll put together my invoice to send a blind channel and then also maybe embroider. I'll show you what I've been working on. This, I, I expect this project is gonna take me around 40 hours because I've put three hours into it at this point and I've barely done anything, but maybe it won't be 40 hours, but it's gonna be a lot. But in keeping with me reading Lord of the Rings, I'm doing the Argonoth. So this has been almost three hours. I'm not even including the transferring, just the stitching, three hours. So I expect him to take like eight hours at least, and same with him, and then the cliffs and stuff. Anyways, that is what I've been working on as I can in between other projects. Part of me wants to like cut the bags or like try making a bag, but also like making the scrunchies. <laughs> I love it. I wanna get more fabric like this in different colors. <laughs> and different patterns. Um, yeah, so anyways, I've got lots of things I wanna do and could be doing, so we'll see kind of where we get. But I think finding something to do while this renders is, is gonna be the best guess. No, that's best, best path forward. That's not the words I'm looking for, but it'll work. So yeah, just gonna putter try to get stuff done. Uh, my mom's boyfriend got called in to work tonight, so it's just her and I for dinner, so I don't know what to do for dinner. We're gonna do bacon and waffles, but now that it's just the two of us, it's a lot of effort, so I don't know. We'll see. Honestly, I think it's only been like an hour since I picked up the camera, and I have knocked three huge things off my list. The vlog from yesterday is edited. I sent off my invoice for invoicing. I just find it such a weird... Anyways. Um, and I sent all my tax stuff to my grandma, so... That's really exciting. I don't like, those are the major things. All I have left on my list is putting my clothes away, embroidering and sewing with the question mark. <laughs> I mean, I might adjust that now that like it's only, it's not even 4.30 and I have so much stuff done. But on the other hand, I'm like, maybe it's just a chill day. Uh, I think the main thing is I don't feel like detaching <laughs> everything so I can sew. <sighs> or cut things, although maybe. It might be nice to make some more masks because I'm like, I wanna get together some mail. Like I was mentioning, I think it was yesterday or in the last vlog, I wanna get together some mail and send it to some friends' masks and stuff. So like, I already have <laughs> this batch over here. I have this set of stuff and this set of stuff. And I think I have one more thing to go with that. Oh, I see it, it's hiding under there. And then some of these masks I, I, I wanna send and then I'll probably send some scrunchies to some people who don't have them. So yeah, legitimately, I have a ton of stuff to do. This embroidery project that I'm working on is legitimately just for me. So it's not like a huge issue if um, I don't work on it on a regular basis. I do actually have to figure out a hummingbird 
design because I've been commissioned to embroider a hummingbird design. I just, I should probably ask the person if they want it black and white, if they want it abstract, if like what they want. So yeah. Oh, I should probably finish my PJ top. If I pull out my sewing machine today, I'm going to attempt buttonholes. I'm scared. I'm sure it's fine. I'm just looking at my, the reason I'm like not really focusing here is I'm looking at my list of things for my store. There's like a lot of things that I want to work on, but nothing super pressing and some stuff I can get rid of. But I do have those other two masks that I was commissioned for today, but I think I'll probably focus on getting them done for next week because it's my boss. I'm making him a black mask and he won't be in for the rest of the week as far as I know unless he's in tomorrow but screw that <laughs> and then the the superhero ones the camp isn't until the end of the month so it should be fine so no rush on those next week should be fine so I think I've convinced myself that I'm gonna sew some masks okay I guess we're doing this it's too late now to turn around and back again I made my bed and now I lay my head in it And I'm sorry I'm not perfect but I knew that I wouldn't be I guess it's for the best, you know the worst to me Masks. <laughs> I think I have like 22 or 23 here. They're all sewed together though at least, so that's exciting. The next step is going to be to cut the threads, or trim the threads and cut the corners and flip them and then the top stitch, but oh my goodness. That... <laughs> There's so many of them. <laughs> that was a lot of work, so yeah. I think that's gonna be it for the night. I think I'm gonna leave my sewing machine set up though. So assuming I'm ambitious tomorrow after work, I can do those. I do need to rectify the situation with my bed though. And what a situation it is. I have, including this one, I think I have 14 of these scrunchies all told. I have my clothes that I need to put away. I have that fabric that I don't really know what to do with. And then this, which needs to make its way onto my desk somehow. And oh. <laughs> And then that. What I wouldn't give for like a dedicated craft room slash craft space. Anyways, it is currently just about like 20 after 10. I am, oh, I've finished watching New Amsterdam, so I'm done season two, because that's all there is on Netflix. I think season three is coming out now on TV, so it'll be a while. And so I'm back to Lord of the Rings. I am fully in the middle of the war slash battle. <laughs> kind, I guess kind of middle, because it jumps around a bit. Anyways, we're getting very near the end of the book. I am covered in thread, but let's see. I am in chapter seven. I have almost 13 hours left, which should pass by quickly at the rate I'm going, but I think I'm gonna continue to listen to that figure this out and um, check in with you in a bit. We're kind of like super crowded here at the moment, but it's fine. I ended up trimming all the threads and clipping the corners because I didn't want to stop listening to Lord of the Rings, to be honest. It was like the Battle of Pelennor, it's over now. And then like, it's so funny because like during the battle, Aragorn shows up, like straight up standard waving elf stone on his forehead wielding the blade that was broken like straight up a king and um like five minutes after the battle he's like nah bro it wasn't me <laughs> and then he like goes into the city though and like is like oh yes i am a king and but then he's like no no i'm not a king <laughs> he can't make up his mind anyways oh i also sewed this shut too. I actually had a blue thread that like matched it pretty perfectly. It's not gonna focus. Anyways, so 
that is ready to go. I decided I want to wear it tomorrow, which is why I did that. I might actually finish my other ones tomorrow because I already have the thread on the sewing machine. So I think tomorrow's gonna be another heavy sewing day with the exception of I also have to do invoicing. And then by the end of day tomorrow, theoretically, I can finish my stacks on stacks on stacks of masks um, so, and the scrunchies. So we will see. Anyways, at present it is, wow, it's just about midnight and I should really sleep because I do have to work tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> So good night, and I will see you back at the theater in the morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the vlog. I am at the theater, as I promised, and um, we're just we're here for a good time. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't really have much to report since last night. I, I woke up, or I went to sleep, and then I woke up, and here I am. Also, I love this scrunchie. The main reason I sewed this last night was just because I want to use it today. <laughs> Anyway, today plans are to work. It's gonna be a four hour shift, which is um, nice. It should be a four hour shift. I don't see why it should be beyond a four hour shift. Could I say four hour shift more? And then I think I wanna go home and work on the masks, maybe nap, we'll see. Um, but scrunchies first, I think, because I have the thread loaded. So go home, scrunchies, flip masks, pin them, and then see how I feel from there, I guess. And then I have to do invoicing. And I'm sure I have a million other things I have to do today, but I can't really think of them. So maybe it'll be a chill day. What's a chill day? Yesterday could have been a chill day, but I decided to make like 20 some odd masks. So yeah. Anyways, that's where we're at. It's uh, gonna rain today, so that's great too. So I think it's definitely gonna be an inside day. I was honestly thinking about going for a walk and I'm in my brain, I'm like, even if it rains, go. But then deeper in my brain, I remember the cold and biting wind and the rain. So we'll see. Anyway, currently at work, gonna go have my breakfast drink and then get this show on the road. Why do I always say that? Maybe it's because I work in a theater. I don't know. Okay, I'll check in with you after. Alrighty, so if you're wondering what my choice was regarding going for a walk after work, there was no choice. It's still windy, which it's been for the last couple days, but it is now pouring rain. And I think if it was doing one, if, if it was raining, it'd be fine. It's it's the wind that's biting cold and everything sucks in the driving rain now. So yeah, we're not going for a walk. <laughs> I think it's supposed to rain all day and tomorrow. And like, I think it's supposed to rain for a couple days. So we'll see what we can do to get our body moving. But for now, I think I'm gonna sew the rest of these scrunchies. So I already have the, elastic cut because I just have a ton of this size elastic for scrunchies cut because I like to be organized and prepared <laughs> and I've already flipped all the scrunchies so I really just need to thread the elastic through tie them up and then sew it all which will be pretty easy considering I have the proper thread at my sewing machine my sewing machine's right here by the way also when my mom's boyfriend picked me up from work he's like here <laughs> brought me a stuffed animal. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I was in Canadian Tire and I got one for you, one for his daughter and one for my mom. So yeah, that's cute. So I'll find somewhere to put this dude. I guess he can go over there for now until I need to use any of those notebooks, which, oh, never mind. He fell down. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, so I think scrunchies first, then I will flip and pin all these guys and start sewing those. And that's going to be a process, a fun process, because if you've been around here before and I've been making masks, you know, I flip them. I need to match this color when I top stitch and then the white, so that's fine. But then when I do the foldy over bit, I also need to change the bobbin to match. So it's just a lot of changing bobbin and thread like in quick succession, sometimes one mask at a time. So that's where we're at. But probably before I do that, I'll make my bed because then I'll have somewhere to kind of keep all the thread and stuff so it's easily accessible. But yeah, that's where we are at. I should probably edit yesterday's portion of the vlog today. At some point we will see, but we got stuff to do. Maybe I'll make a quick list and then we'll get into this and we will listen to some more Lord of the Rings. We are getting near the end, I can tell you. Let's see. Do, 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 do. 11 and a half hours left. I didn't listen to it at work today because I was listening two podcasts and trying to catch up. I'm still behind on two podcasts, but we will get there. Anyways, time to work. Okay, so current update is these all have the elastic in them. I still have to sew them, but that took forever to do because unlike the other ones where I use this guy, uh, cause they're straight and it's pretty quick. These ones, 
I gotta feed through manually and it kind of sucks. Also, I flipped all these. There's a lot there, as you can tell. I still need to pin them, but we're doing well. I still think it's been like at least an hour since I started working with this stuff, but that is totally fine. But in other news, I got some mail. <laughs> it is so cold and rainy out there, did not like. But I'm gonna put you up here because it's, it's just the easiest. You zoom in a little bit maybe, maybe. <laughs> it's much easier to put it there than it is to put it on the tripod. Anyways. I ordered some books from Chapters because one, I wanna to try to read a lot more this year and I've really been buoyed by the fact that I'm 12, 13, and 15 books in and we're just hit the third month, which 15, I don't even think I did that all last year. And so, but I've been doing a lot of rereading and so I was like, I wanna read some new stuff. So I went on the chapter site and I tried to find some books that I thought looked interesting. So part of me was sad because they only had them in hardcover <laughs> and so they're more expensive, but whatever, books are great. So I ordered two books. I got these two. <laughs> the first one is called The Shadow Between Us by Tricia Levenseller. There it is. It looked it looked interesting. It kind of looked like leaning more towards like a fanfic kind of situation because um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the comments were like uh, something about Slytherin. It's like a Slytherin romance and so it feels like very much uh, fan fiction-y but I'm kind of down for it. So like the girls, the main character's plan to gain power is woo the Shadow King one two, marry him, three, kill him, and take the kingdom. So like, I think it's gonna be <laughs> enjoyable. And then I got These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, which um, looked really good. It's um, like a blood feud in gangs. And like, I do enjoy writing like mafia style stuff myself or like gangs. So yeah, anyways, I got two new books. I can't even tell you the last time I bought a physical book. Uh, I used to like all the time. All the time, especially when I was in university, I would, there was this place in the Hillside Mall called Bolin's Books and I would go there like every week at least to buy a book or go to Kohl's or go to Chapters or just, I needed the books. So, <laughs> and even then when like I was in Vancouver, I was buying books a lot and then I just kind of fell out of it. And then I was just buying like Kindle books or audiobooks recently which is great because like I've been well I watched a little bit of YouTube but I've basically been listening to Lord of the Rings while I've been doing this so yeah but I'm excited to try these two out so <laughs> keep you posted <laughs> but yeah I think the next step now is gonna be to sew these guys and then no wait I'm gonna make my bed first so that I can just huck these over there <laughs> once I sew them although I have found these trays to be very helpful so we'll see, this one looks a little dusty. Anyway, okay, we'll figure it out, but I think I'm gonna make my bed first and foremost, figure out a place to put these guys and go from there. With you, the sun is shining 24 seven. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my million stars. I know I can lean on you. Alrighty, this is where we're at. <laughs> Everything is top stitched. I have to trim it now and then do the, the foldy bit like that. So I have all my threads lined up here. I just have to grab the bobbins to match them. And then I also have that one there. Also, it's still bright outside, like that's insane. Winter is slowly going away and like it's it's nice. It's even stopped raining and I think it stopped being windy, so that's amazing. But plan is right now to go down and start cooking dinner because it's 10 to six. And then after dinner, come up and finish all these masks. That's the plan and then probably invoicing and then we'll see how much time we have left in the day. Update. <laughs> all threads are clipped and everything's sewn. Threads are clipped on this. Uh, these aren't all the masks. I gave my mom hers already, uh, but I need to just do the elastic, but not at the moment. That's for another time. It is currently 840 and I think I'm going to take a little break because like from doing this over the sewing machine, 
my neck is bugging me a bit, and then it will be time to do the invoicing, I'm thinking, so yeah, but progress, we are making progress, but yeah, my like everything here just hurts from the sewing and the trimming and yeah, but progress. <laughs> I feel like I just got hit with like a ton of bricks of sleep because oh my goodness, all of a sudden, just like that, I'm like, I need to sleep. <laughs> it is just about 11. I got my invoicing done um, and nothing else. I need to get everything done on my list, but honestly, I got quite a bit of stuff done, so that's exciting. Also, I did get more mail earlier, which is more uh, cord lockers for my masks. Very exciting. And um, a friend of mine was asking me about masks, uh, a friend in Australia, so I got to make a mask for her now and send to her. It's funny because yesterday I got her address because I was like, oh, I want to send you something. I am so sorry. I'm so tired. Um, and then today she was like, hey, can you make me a mask? I'm like, I will send that to you for free when I send you your other stuff. Anyways, so that is on the list for hopefully this weekend. I'm thinking maybe Saturday I'll feel inclined to make more masks because I do still have, I, so I have three that I are on order now. Oh, wow, brain. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go sleep. I don't get to sleep anymore because I do have to work, but I get to sleep in the next day, which is fantastic and magical. I feel like I had a pretty productive last couple days, so that's very exciting. And um, I guess I will see you Wednesday now. Good night. <laughs>